Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section we're going to continue our discussion of redox reactions and specifically we're going to talk about using the half reactions and figuring out what is being oxidized and what is being reduced from the half reactions. Because again, you can have a long redox reaction. What we're doing with the half reactions is breaking it up into two you know, half reactions. One of those reactions is going to be an oxidation process. The other is going to be called a reduction process. And so you have to have oxidation and reduction going on in the same time in your redox reaction. So when we split the, the big uh, reaction up into half reactions, we should get one that's oxidized and one that's reduced. So let's just take a few examples of these little half reactions and see if we can figure out from looking at it if it's an oxidation process or if it's a reduction process. And the first thing I want to do before I get there is just say that I have replaced our definitions of oxidation and reduction on the board with these sort of simplified uh, definitions, sort of like a you know, um, just abbreviate it a little bit to get them on the board in a small space and I'm going to leave these up because I really want to drill this in. So just to refresh your memory, the oxidation process is when you lose electrons. That's what we call the process of oxidation is when something loses electrons. If something is undergoing an oxidation process, it's also called a reducing agent in the reaction because a reducing agent is the thing that donates the electrons. If something's undergoing reduction, that means it's gaining electrons and accepting those electrons. And because of that, it's also called an oxidizing agent. That, that item that we're talking about, whatever's being reduced in the reaction is called an oxidizing agent because that's the thing that's accepting the electrons. I'm trying different ways to explain this to you so that you can kind of get the point across. But the bottom line is you have oxidation, losing electrons, reduction, gaining electrons. These agent definitions are just another way of renaming the exact same thing. And you have to learn both of them when you talk about chemical reactions in the redox world. Because a lot of times your book will talk about the oxidizing agent or the reducing agent and you need to know what they're talking about. So let's get started. Uh, let's look at a reaction real quick, a half reaction I should say. What if we have lithium, which is a positive ion. Let's say that we have something like this. And the question I have for you is, is this an oxidation process or is this a reduction process? Well, here we have lithium ion, so it's already a positive charge. An electron comes along with that lithium ion and out comes a neutral lithium uh, atom. So we have a single plus one charge here. We have the electron, which is negative one. Combining, we get a neutral result. So what we have is some item that is accepting electrons. It's gaining an electron in this process. So this is going to be called a reduction process. So that's what we need to, to write down. So this is called reduction.